Okay, so we're gonna talk about myofascial release of the forefoot. And as with other myofascial uh, techniques in other areas, we're gonna be concerned with not individual segmental motions, but more with uh, the fascial continuity across different regions. So in the foot, we're gonna be concerned with the calcaneus and then its fascial continuity into the forefoot across the midfoot. So our contacts are gonna be posteriorly at the calcaneus, and then the rest of our other hand is going to go over the rest of the foot, um, across the forefoot. And from this position, we're gonna test different ranges of motion. So our main motions are going to be inversion and eversion. And while we're testing those motions of the forefoot, we are just stabilizing posteriorly at the calcaneus. Inversion, eversion, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, adduction, and abduction. So we're gonna take those motions and evaluate for barriers and freedoms. And then based on how we want to treat, uh, whether it's direct or indirect, we're either going to stack up all of the barriers of motion or stack up all of the different freedoms of motion then hold uh, as we would expect to do. So uh, in my patient, I find that on inversion and eversion, there's a little bit more restriction on inversion, less restriction on eversion. So freedom of motion, eversion, barrier of motion on inversion. On flexion, I'm sorry, on plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, I find more resistance on dorsiflexion, on adduction and abduction, I find more resistance on adduction. So I'm gonna to choose to treat this indirectly. And that means I'm gonna position in eversion, plantar flexion, and abduction. And I'm gonna hold there with that uh, position. And I'm gonna be waiting until I feel a change in the tension that would indicate some kind of tissue texture change and tissue, and tissue release, or up to two minutes. And then I would reposition back to neutral and then reassess that fascial motion in each of the directions.